hello guys welcome to today's video by Charles Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talk video guys on today's video I'm going to show you how to live stream making use of your PC so if you are currently on your PC go ahead and type in this application name it's called Streamlab so once you um, type in Streamlab you are going to see it's actually the first application here and this is the actually actual application I use also on my mobile device so um, it won't be a bit difficult for you if you're working with this one if you already used it on mobile so all you need to do scroll down a little bit and click on download but i already have it downloaded, so no need for me to download so after you downloaded it just go to the download folder where you have it saved and on default downloads are supposed to be saved under download folder on your pc so click on your pc and then select download and this is actually my download so all you need to do is to double click on the application and read the instructions on the screen just click on next next and complete the download so once your download has complete just go over here um, i have the download right here so i'm just going to double click on it to open and then it's going to load up and display for me so um depending on which um one you have i've downloaded once you click on it it's going to open so let's wait for it to load up all right if you're loading this application for the first time once you load up it's going to give you two different options the first is going to be your stream and then the second is going to be recording because you can also record with this application but since it's done my first time it's not going to show that option so for your case go ahead and select stream and once you select stream it's going to display this way for us so once it displays this way for you um all you need to pay attention to is this particular section where it's called stream um scene and then source so your scene is actually um like a folder where you have um your source saved under so um after you have a scene if there is nothing here just click on this area and you can create a new scene by clicking on okay but i do not want to create a new scene i think i'm actually okay with the default scene so um the next thing you need to do click on this plus icon right here and then select a particular um a particular source now the first source um this is very important this is the alert boss this is actually the one that shows you new messages new subscribers and all those stuff so we are going to click on that and then we are going to say add new source now the alert boss is already there so on default i'm going to leave that name to be alert boss and click on add new source so it's loading up wait for it so um these are all the information donations merge membership subscribers and chat boards these are all the alerts that will display so i'm just going to click on close um it's going to be displaying on this particular section so i will have to reduce that because um if it's displaying it's going to cover up um sections of my screen so i'm going to have to reduce that and then move it on the right hand area and then the next source i want to have is actually uh, my display so click on it and allow it to load if you want to have an image display there are different things right here if you want to have an image display or maybe you want to display um a browser or maybe you want to display a capture so i just want to display my screen i have to click on this one but if you want to display a particular game Maybe you want to stream a particular game you can click on this particular one but if you only want to record your screen just click on display capture which is probably what i want to do you notice it says um captures your entire monitor primary monitor secondary monitor and then i'm going to click on add source so i'm going to leave that on default and then select add source so it's going to automatically display my screen and also these settings you can click on it to choose different settings that is if you have other monitor size but i'm going to click on ok now you notice it looks as if it's actually displaying blank but do not worry once i start streaming it's going to be displaying all of those stuffs so if you are a gamer and you want to display a game let me click on the add source you can add several sources anyway so just click on add source and then select game capture and you notice it says um it works built in um with work with modern um computers so just click on modern computer games actually so just click on add source to add the source and then just confirm and you will be asked to choose a particular game so um i'm just going to use this default stuff right there i think i'm okay but it's actually um it's actually supposed to hold on 
Okay. For some reason, I'm getting some notification. So now, um, it's looking for a game to capture. So automatically, when it's, once you start playing game, it's going to look for a game to capture. But most times, um, it actually allows you to select a particular game. So when you select a particular game, it will start rendering that particular game. But guys, um, I do not want to do that right now. I only want to capture the screen. So I'm going to right click and then remove. So you can actually remove any source anytime you want. You notice it says want to remove source. So I'm just going to click OK. The interesting part about the game capture is that once you are using this particular game capture, it's only going to capture that particular game once you are live streaming. So, but this display capture is going to capture everything on your screen. And the reason why this is different from the game capture is that when it's under the game capture, it's only going to capture the screen of your game and it's not going to actually, um, it's not going to actually display any other thing you are doing on your screen apart from that particular game and it works perfectly well so guys um this is actually okay but if for some reason most times the audio doesn't display so you might need to add this audio input right there to actually have the audio display and then apart from this guys you can also scroll down there are even more widgets below you can see all of these widgets you can go ahead and add them that is if you are interested in making use of all of those stuff but i'm not interested in using them so if you're ready to go live just click on go live and then guys um before you go live you need to actually log in and um, it didn't show me option to log in because i'm already logged in so if you want to log in all you need to do is just come right here where it says settings click under that, that settings icon and then it's going to display this particular area and you are going to notice it says logout but for your case it's going to show login if you haven't logged in so just click on login when you click on login it's going to open the active browser that you have so go ahead and log in your email address and then click on confirm and then you'll be logged in so once you're done click on done and then come here and click on go live so once you click on go live it's going to go live and display everything on your screen and it works perfectly well but if you guys are having any issue with that please leave it on the comment section let's hear what you have to say if it's working perfectly well let me know also i hopefully want to know how it worked for you but um guys this is all i want to show you on today's video and thank you for watching guys i will see you on my next video please stay safe